Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp With Peggy. It is Monday, July 25th. Um, this month is almost over. We're down to just a week left. Um, okay, hang on, I got things on my screen. Facebook is doing all kinds of different things and it's just driving me crazy. So, all right, hopefully I am live. Say hi if you are on. If you can see me or hear me, okay, I can see me on my screen. So hopefully you guys are finding me. Yay, Roseanne, you found me. Yay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. All right. Hopefully a few more jump on. Um, okay. What are we doing here? It's not letting me. Hi, Helen. Roseanne's here. Okay, good. Glenda's on. <clears throat> all right, so we are working. Excuse me. <clears throat> Darn it all. Okay, so had a fabulous weekend. I had my Summer Splash event on Saturday. That's a day-long retreat. Hi, Donna. It's a day-long um, stamp camp retreat. Um, we did four classes during the day. Everybody got lots of free goodies, um, fabulous projects, which I've been posting on my Facebook Nope, on my blog, which is then showing up also on my Facebook group and page. <clears throat> so hopefully you will see those. I posted today the first project, which I'm going to share with you tonight because it's using kits. Um, Stampin' Up! has some fabulous kits, and I want to show you some different things. Kits are geared towards everyone, but I hear all the time, yeah, but they're not really my thing. Um, Stampin' Up's doing a much better job, I think, of designing the kits. And then I like to take them just like the paper pumpkin and do something different with it. So that's what I'm going to show you first is what we did on Saturday using the Love Your Memory notebook kit. Um, and then I'm going to show you another kit. We're going to put together three cards from the kit. And then I have a special little treat to tell you about. I don't have it done yet, but... Okay, so looks like Sharon's here with us. Yay, Linda's with us. So you guys keep popping on, say hi. Um, like I said in the beginning, Facebook has made some changes to things and profiles and following and liking and all that stuff. So make sure that you like and follow my page. Then you will get notifications when I go live so that you don't miss or can't find me. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera. to Oh, before I forget that, comments, shares, likes, follows. So this from last week's comments and shares, etc., um, I am giving another set of the Fun Flowers Resin Shapes, and the winner of this one is Nancy Madison. Nancy lives in northern Wisconsin, so thanks for joining, Nancy, and I will get this popped out in the mail to you. Okay, let's put the camera down. So give me a minute here. Get this up. Get this. Oh, good. There you go. Let's flip the camera again. If I can find the screen, there it is. Much better. Okay, so let's get you up here. And now we're sideways, of course we are. Oh my goodness gracious. This thing's got a mind of its own tonight, I'm telling you. All right, let's see where we're at. Okay, that part looks okay on your screen. On my screen, it looks crazy. Okay, well, hopefully we can follow along with this. All right, so the kit that we use, hi, Ellie, thanks for joining. The kit that we used on Saturday, ooh, okay, is the Love This Notebook, Love This Memory Notebook Kit. Okay, it makes a journal scrapbook, and I think I shared this a couple weeks ago. You get lots of different stickers in here. You get, where is it? There is a stamp set in here, and a block, 
and the Parakeet Party Stampin' Spot, and Terran Tape, and Washi Tape. Okay, so fun. Here is the memory book, journal, drawing book, sketchbook, whatever you want to make it. Okay, and then it's got fun, this fun little pocket. It's got a bunch of three by four note cards. It's got some smaller two by two note cards. And it's got more stickers and some four by six note cards. <coughs> so, everyone at Summer Splash received one of those kits, but we didn't do scrapbooking. Instead, we made cards, okay? And I got to see it on my screen here because it's being crazy. Okay, so I took the 4x6 and 3x4 cards and cut them down. These flowers on here are all stickers from the kit. Okay, and then another fun one. I just cut one of the cards apart, added some card stock. We've got one of my fun folds. And then this one opens this way. It's got the greeting on it and then some um, little heart stickers. Everyone also received a package of the classic matte dots so that they could embellish their cards. We have another fun fold. And so the pieces that I cut from this card, we put to the inside so the inside was decorated. And then this one is another fun fold where it's the whole sheet and then it opens up the hearts here, the out the circles are stickers, and then the inside of the hearts we added to the inside so that the inside was pretty, okay? So look at the kits and look at them different. Um, all the different things that you can do. So again, the girls all made six cards. I had everything pre-cut for them from their kits, and then I added the cardstock, and then they still have enough stuff left that they can do the journal, give that as a gift. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Okay, so tonight I wanted to share another one of the kits with you. Now let me get this open. Okay, I guess I should show you first. It comes in a, oh, you, it fills the whole screen there. It comes in a great big box. Okay, and when you open the box, there is, oh my goodness, I can't get far enough away from it. Okay, there is a beautiful lunchbox. It's insulated. It could also be a makeup case, like for going on vacation and putting your shampoos and everything in there. It's all lined so that nothing's going to get icky and wet. It's got this beautiful floral image on the front of it. Okay, so it's beautiful and then okay let's find so here God, i'm just all kitty wampus here here is the card kit so not only do you get the lunch bag but you also get supplies to make three of each of these three cards and i should i want to do this first okay this is the holiday catalog and this Nourish and Flourish kit is featured in the holiday catalog. Um, it is one of the Making a Difference projects. Each year they try to do that with a, what do they call it, philanthropic. So $3 from the purchase of each one of these kits is going to organizations working to end food insecurity. So food pantry type places um, all across the country. It is fabulous. And so, if we come over here, the lunch bag is nine inches by six and a half by six and a quarter. The card kit, like I said, makes nine all occasion dry embossed cards with matching envelopes. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute. The whole kit is $39, so it's a great deal. But like I said, $3 is gonna go to help with food insecurities across the globe, okay? so. What I want to do is, and I'm going to, let me set those over here out of the way. 
Okay, so in this kit, goodness gracious, pull the rest of my supplies. I have been using it tonight, and I'm not completely done, but okay. So there are three different card bases, and I don't know how well that's going to show in here. They're all embossed for you already. You don't have to do it. This one's kind of like the quatrefoil um, embossing folder. And then this one is beautiful. It's got leaves and like flower stems. And then this one's got just a fun, I don't know what you call it, kind of a herringbone-ish type image. Okay, there are three different colored envelopes to match with them. There are three sheets of these embellishments. Okay, we've got pretty flowers, we've got lots of leaves, so gorgeous. All right, let's see. Then we also have a sheet with labels and banners. Okay, there's three of each, so you can use it to make your three cards. And then there are greeting labels to put on. There is no stamping at all. It's already all done for you in whatever language you would like to say it in. So they all say, just saying hello, you get three of each. I appreciate you more than you know, and I'm just so lucky to know you. Fabulous for cards, okay? But, all right, now I'm seeing a couple of comments. Yes, Sue, your summer splash went in the mail today. Sandy, you definitely want this because I have a little surprise coming. Okay, Nancy, thanks for joining. Okay, so back to here. So I went through and I pulled all of the supplies for each card. And so if you look at, here's the colored directions. And so it shows, here's card one. And it kind of shows the image. That's what you want. There's card two, card three. And there's only three. So why is, oh no, this is showing steps. One, two, three, four. There's card one, card two, and card three. So then here, it shows you all of the supplies that you need to punch out from the sheets for each card. Okay, so super, super simple. The first card has the pretty pool party um, envelope. So we're just going to fold on the score line. And see, I've already punched all of the pieces out of this one. Okay, and so this card is, nope, this card is actually gonna go this way. And so then I'm coming in and I'm taking this pool party label and we're just going to adhere it across the center of the card. Okay, and then this one is using the just saying hello. And so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it with dimensionals. And you might want an extra sheet of dimensionals because you know me, I just use a whole bunch of them. We all miss Sue Coomber on Saturday. Sue was just getting back from vacation, so she didn't figure she could quite handle or she was getting back that day. Okay, we're just gonna attach that onto there. And then, let's see, how or what do I wanna do? Okay, I'm gonna use my seal, maybe. And then I'm gonna take one of these yellow flowers and I'm gonna tuck it under here. And then I'm gonna take another yellow flower and I'm gonna put a piece of dimensional on it. <laughs> oh, you definitely wanna get this. You definitely want this. Um, again, I know a lot of my people kind of aren't thrilled with the kits and you gotta look at them a little different because there's some amazing possibilities with it. Okay, all right. Then we're gonna put a dimensional on the back of a blue flower and we're gonna add that right alongside here. You're right, you can. Exactly, what Linda's saying is save this punch out because then you could use this to with your blending brush and sponge onto your, you know, kind of a sponge, add color onto your sheets 
your papers. Okay, then we're gonna take another little piece and I'm gonna put the dimensional only on the like the bottom half because what I wanna do is I wanna overlap it here. Okay, and then I've got some leaves left. So we use two yellow, two blue, one large leaf, one double you know, kind of medium leaf, and one double small itty bitty leaf. Okay, so the little itty bitty leaf is gonna go up here under the blue one. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of seal. And we're gonna poke that one up there. This bigger one is gonna go down under this yellow. Okay, and then our final one, and again, I want some small pieces. And on this one, we're gonna put it here. You know what? I don't know that I want it on dimensionals. Nope, I don't. I want that one flat also. And I'm just deciding this. I don't really know for sure what the directions because I didn't look at it close enough to see what they think it should be because, again, it's yours. You can make it however you want to. Look at how pretty that is and how fast it was. You've got a beautiful card or envelope to go with it, okay? There's card one. And then card two is using the petal pink envelope. And this one has the kind of quattro foil. I don't know, little sort of diamond shapes, okay? And so now I'm looking at number two. And on this one, I want one of the Calypso coral labels. And we're gonna put that right across the center of this card. And I'm just using like the little diamonds in here shapes to see that I am at least somewhat close. Okay. And then, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna adhere this down. And again, I'm staying away from the very edge so that I have a space to tuck my flowers, okay? All right, let's get this. I'm just so lucky to know you. Wouldn't that be a fun, just cheer you up kind of card? Okay, we're gonna put that on there. Then we're gonna deal with our flowers. We've got two bigger ones and then kind of a one half squished folded up one. And we're just gonna put some seal. The kit comes with these little mini glue dot type things, okay? You guys who use them and Cheryl DeSico is the queen of these. Personally, I don't like them. But they're great for beginners to be, not have to worry about having a bunch of supplies because they can just use that. All right. We're going to tuck this one here. We're going to tuck this one here. And then we're going to put the last one kind of down here. And I don't want that to... I'm not pushing it down to stick real hard because I want to be able to play and maneuver with the rest of this. Okay. And so we're going to put some adhesive on. We've got this big tulip with two stems. We are going to kind of tuck that right in about there. And then we're gonna take a single stem and we are going to, let's get some adhesive on that. And we're gonna tuck that one over here, kind of poking out there. All right, this one I want down a little bit more. And I'm gonna lift that up a little bit. Okay, that's more what I want there. All right, then I have another, let's see, with two, two leaves or two stems. And we are going to put that one like right up here. And then we've got this last single stemmed one. And we're gonna tuck that one, oh, kind of up like that. Okay, and then we still have, oops, and I am missing a piece. Yep, I got a hider in there. Okay, we have a single green and a double green. 
Tulips don't grow sideways. Yeah, they do. When After you pick them, then you can tuck them anywhere you want to. How's that? Maybe we dried them, Linda. That way we could do whatever we wanted with it. How's that? Okay. And then we've got this double leaf. We're going to tuck that up here. And then we have one single leaf. And we're going to tuck that right up into there. Okay. There's our side. Oh, and you know what I forgot? Let's see. Where did I put them? Uh-oh. I wonder if they're over on my workspace. Give me a second. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay. Sorry. They also gave us some of these really fun little pearls. Kind of petal pink-ish. So don't let me forget to go back and add those on. Okay. All right, so there's card number two. And then the last card from the kit is using the kind of herringbone-ish embossing. And so we are going to fold that. We are going to pull our instructions back in. Okay, so here is what the last card looks like. Look, it even tells you how many of the little pearls to put on here. Shows you where to put the little mini glue dots, okay? Love it. Even right there, just add three, okay, or dimensionals. All right, so now we're gonna come back in and we're gonna use this. This one turns sideways. And so we're going to take one of these long strips And we're going to put that right along the bottom. Okay. Just like that. And this time we have, I appreciate you more than you know. And then, you know me, we're going to stick some dimensionals on it. This time I'll do three across the center. How's that? Okay, and we're gonna put that on our card. And then we have another one of the flowers that we used and one that's a little bit smaller. Okay, so we're kinda of gonna do that. And then I have three Calypso coral flowers. And we are going to put one here, one here, and one down here. So what I'm looking at right now is what I want to dimensionalize, and I think I do. I think this time I'm going to put a dimensional under there. I'm gonna put one under this big one. Let's poke that out like that. And then, we're gonna get really crazy. We're gonna put one up here. And then I think this one we're going to just put down. So yeah, these mini little mini glue dots, I should probably really start saving them to give to somebody who can use them. Okay, then I need to add this one on. So we're gonna do that little one right there and I probably should have put oh I think we'll be okay I think what we'll do instead is we're going to use this little double mini uh, leaf and I put a dimensional piece on that we're going to tuck that under there which will help hold that flower up then we've got two double one a little closer and one a little farther apart so we're going to put adhesive on the one that's separated a little bit more. And we're gonna tuck that right into there. And then the ones that are close together, we're gonna tuck right up under here. And then we've got a single one in a little different shade of green. So we're gonna tuck that one up here. And then I have two little ones, okay? And so 
this one. And this is where those little glue dots come in pretty handy because you really are just getting a little bit of glue on it or adhesive. We're gonna put that one up there. And the last one, we're gonna tuck in right there. And our third card is done, okay? Now, let's bring them all back in and let's add some of our pearls. All right, and in my little picture, it shows me, let's put one up here and one over here and then two over here, okay? Look at how pretty that is. Okay, there's one. Now let's come back to card number two. No, yeah. All right, and then we're putting one up here. And it is, Nancy, very quick and easy, but they're so pretty. Um, great to put together with elderly parents, you know, kind of a little craft project. This would be great like at a nursing home. Maybe you have to help put the little dots on or the little pearls, but you know, how pretty. And they would be so happy that they made that. Okay, there's number two. So let's put that one out and let's bring card number one back in. Let's look and see where they did it. All right, so here we're going to put one up here. And you really, seeing it in the video is not as beautiful as what these are when you can see the embossed bases of the cards. It is just gorgeous. Okay, so there are the three cards. And I'm trying to see, do I have them all in? Okay, well, not quite, almost. This camera is just doing its own thing tonight. Okay. So how pretty is that? Now, let's see if I can carry it over. I am working on parts and pieces. And I said in my reminder that it would be a, I would be doing a card tutorial. I changed my mind. And it's not done. I'm still playing because this one just came to me just a little bit ago. How about a framed art? Okay, now how well is that showing in the video? Okay, envelopes, I moved that. Let's move that up a little bit more. This is going to fit into an eight by eight frame. So I still have to do the backgrounds and matte layers and dimensions to them. So there's definitely, you don't get to see the whole finished thing yet. But anyone who orders one of these kits from me or team members, pop me a message and let me know that you ordered one. And I will have a tutorial for you. Um... Once I get done playing, I will see and maybe I will cut the base pieces and things and mail those to you, but you will have to cut your kit itself apart um, unless it's somebody that's just ordering and the kit's coming to me and you're picking it up from me, then I may be able to cut that too. But you will have a tutorial to make a three by or an eight by eight frame dart using the pieces from your kit. And then I have enough stuff yet for at least three more cards from the kit. So I may do a little playing and do some alternate cards out of the remaining pieces that I have also. But that kind of gives you a little clue. Um, so anybody, again, who places an order for the Nourish and Flourish kit, which is item number... 160230. It's $39. So it's still celebration time. Add $11 more of something else and get your free celebration item. Um, 
order this kit and then you can make the set of six cards also. How's that? You have to cut your own stuff, but okay. So from now through, and I'll do it through Sunday, anybody who orders this kit will get this PDF tutorial telling you the sizes to cut your pieces to. Um, and again, once I get it completely finished and know what else is there, um, I will cut and mail as long as it goes into a flat package, the other pieces, mat layers and things for this kit. And that will be my gift to you for ordering the Nourish and Flourish kit. Okay, so how about that? We did three cards and I shared six other cards and another fun project in a half an hour tonight. Phew, that was a busy night. Okay, you guys have a fabulous week. It looks like the weather is going to be great and... Keep stamping. Keep watching for my summer splash items too. Okay. Have a great night and a fabulous week. Take care. Bye-bye.